Hello friends, welcome back to Integration Corner. I hope you are enjoying the videos here and thanks for all your comments for the previous videos. If you like the content being published in this channel, please do subscribe and activate the notification button so that the new uploads will reach you as a notification. Today I'm going to discuss APIs which is one of the inbound endpoints. Let's directly go to the IDE to demonstrate how to create an API using the different options provided by the product. I'm at the integration studio now. So I'm going to start creating an API by right clicking in the project explorer, click on new and then other. I'm going to create a Maven multi-module project. So just type Maven multi so that it appears here. Yeah, so I selected the Maven multi-module project. I'm just going to give a sample API uh, as the group ID and then I'm going to give uh, sample API 1 as my artifact ID and then I'm proceeding to finish. So this creates a Maven multimedia project. So inside this, I'm going to create an ESP project. So click on new and then click on ESP config project and then click next again. Yeah, I'm going to follow the same naming convention as I described in the previous video. So sample one, which is the name of the parent project underscore ESP to describe that it's an ESP project. Click on next and then here I have to select parent. So I'm selecting sample one as a parent project and then click on finish to proceed. Now this creates an ESB project under it and then you can find the set of folders created by default. API is what we are going to discuss today. So there are different ways to create an API. Uh, there are slight modifications in terms of how you expose an API endpoint, right? So I'm going to start creating one by right clicking on the API folder, new, and then I'm going to give, I'm going to click REST API, create a new API REST artifact click on next and then name one so I'm gonna give sample API one as my API name I'm gonna follow the same name or I'm gonna use the same name as my context as well sample API one as a context now comes the version type here you have different options so if you want the version to be part of your URL you can go with URL and give a version here I'm not gonna do that I'm just going to select none and then um, finish so this creates an a skeleton of the API you can see this is the UI or the design representation if you click on the source tab you can give the XML representation as well I'm coming back to the design tab and then here this is going to be a simple API that echoes a uh, hello world so to do that I'm going to select the payload factory mediator which is under the mediators uh, section in the palette clicking on the payload factory mediator and then I'm going to configure the payload factory so I'm just going to have a JSON response saying hello folks or something. So I'm going to select the media type as JSON from the media type. And then uh, it's just hard coding the response. So I'm adding a response like message and then hello integration exports. Yeah, so this is going to be my message. So this is a very simple API that echoes hello integration experts when it is invoked. So we have set the response part. Now we need to send the response back to the invoker, right? So for that, I'm going to select the response mediator here. I'm adding the response mediator and that's it. Our API is done. I'm saving it. And now I, I need to define a composite application project to package it and then deploy. So for that, I'm going to click on the sample, which is a Maven multimodal project. Click on new, come to click on other select composite application project and then here I have to give a name for the project so I'm going to follow the same convention sample one underscore car and then I'm selecting the dependency so sample one underscore ESB is the dependency and I have one API under that click on next here I have to define the parent to link it with the parent uh, maven multi module project select sample one from the drop down and then finish so the car file is ready and now this API is ready to deploy. So to deploy, I'm going to go to the server section here on the right side. And I have a local server running and you can see the status of the server has started. It is running. So click on the server, right click on uh, the server entry and then add or remove. Click that option. Select the car file and then add and then finish. So with this, you are deploying the sample car. So once deployment is completed, you can see the console a message saying successfully deployed successfully deployed the carbon application i'm 
going to log into the admin console to get the URL of the API. I'm using the default credentials to log in, admin and admin. So click the API section. You'll see the A sample API deployed here. You can see same sample API one available under this URL. Taking this URL and then opening a new tab and just pasting it because this API is just a simple get API. You press enter, you get a message, hello integration experts. So this is how you define a very simple API in WSO2. Thank you for watching. I hope you understood how to create a simple API in WSO2 EI. If you have any queries, please reach out to me either on my email or you can put your comments in the comment section below. Happy learning and have a wonderful day.